Yes. Huh? That's so. Bridge? It's a way in. Oh, it just had to be a sewer, didn't it? It's not a secret. Uh, uh, just leave me. I can't swim anymore. Looks like we can get up from there. Hang in there, Nama! get to the Siryu clan HQ through this rat hole? Yeah, no doubt about it. Still, I have heard some rumors about some real weirdos shacking up here. Stay on guard. Uh. Hit it for the long haul. Okay. 
Watch this. Let's go. <laughs> cool. I'm not a loser. Yeah. Watch this. Stronger. I thought I was a goner. Ha! On to the next level! Nice! Look at me go! Hell yeah! Moving up in the world. Looks like we were able to sneak in. Where 
Where are we? The Seiryu clan courtyard? The chairman's room's up there, right? Yeah, no way I'd forget it. Man, that takes me back. It was just us three. First time we came here. Whoa, hey! The hell did you come from? Uh-oh. So much for getting nostalgic, huh? Right. Guess it's a fight then. Now let's rock and roll! Adachi-san! Namba! I'm not a loser! Yeah! Open wide! Get locked! Okay. Don't get caught! Let's go. Let's do it. Cool. Safe to say, they'll be hounding us. That just means we don't gotta sneak around anymore. We're going all the way to the top! Bring it on. Yeah. Watch this. Cool. Get alive. Get I'm up. Okay. 
Stronger. Nice. Hell yeah. Koichi's still a threat. Should I open it? Sweet! You think you can barge in here? Nobody sneaks into Seryu HQ and gets away with it! You three are dead meat! Damn it! German's room's right there, too. Shit. What's the plan, Ichiban? This guy's on a good one. <laughs> He's just what we wanted. After all, every dungeon needs a tough boss at the end. Terminal yields. You're going down. Have fun with this. We can't knock him down. Maybe we can toss him around. You want to fight? Open wide. Get locked. <laughs> Going in. with this. Yeah. 
I'm up! Yeah, felt good. <laughs> On to the next level. Look at me go. Moving up in the world. All right. Chairman's just passed here, yeah? Yeah. Stay on your toes. All right. We'll see that it's settled before next week's meeting. Precisely. We'll accept their proposal. Is that all? Very well. I'll be in touch. <clears throat> My apologies. I had to see that through. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I am Ebida, the clan captain. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga-san. So what? You hear about us from Takabe or something? Yes. I've heard a great deal, too. And Takabe, he's still locked up, right? In short, one of ours got busted and the chairman took the brunt of it. He's set to be released in two years. And what about you? You're filling in for him while he's away, right? I don't remember seeing you around before. I'm a new addition. I didn't join the Seryu until after the Great Dissolution. And you're already captain? You sure climbed the ladder fast. Based on that, you must be pretty good. You flatter me. But you see, with the death of the previous chairman and the chaos that followed the Great Dissolution, well, the fact of the matter is we were short-handed. To be even more blunt about it, my promotion was based entirely on how well I earned. As a Yakuza, however, that's not really something to be proud of. Hey, you're humble, at least. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Chairman Takabe told me what you did for the Serio clan, among others. The Ejin Three are all very much indebted to you. Please excuse me for not reaching out sooner. Yeah, appreciate you rolling out the red carpet. We take security matters quite seriously here. Unless I give explicit permission, any intruders are to be eliminated on sight. Unfortunately, it seems there was a delay in giving orders, even after I'd confirmed it was you. you. Maybe relax your grip on the place then, huh? One wrong move and we'd be feeding the fish right now. Huh. If I told my men to stand down first thing, I would never have seen our heroes of Yokohama in action. As acting head of the Seryu clan, it's my responsibility to determine who we do business with. Surely you understand. Well, I guess we're the ones who barged in. Wouldn't be right for us to complain about it. <laughs> you have my thanks. Anyway, ebina -san, the reason we came here... Yes, I'm aware. It's about Sasaki-san. Is that right? <laughs> that certainly saves us some time. Where do you think we're headed? Maybe the mountains? You know, so they can bury us in the woods? Far from it. We're en route to a warehouse at the wharf. And we gotta go all the way to the harbor just to talk about Sasaki? Well, seeing is believing, as they often say. After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some Seryu clan members were ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encourage them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex-Yakuza and the outside world. The five-year ex-Yakuza clause, right? Yeah, correct. As long as that's in place, former Yakuza are unlikely to find decent work, forcing many onto the streets. Knowing what might await them, the first thing the chairman did 
was provide a way one might make an honest living. And what's that? You'll see. In fact, we're almost there. We bought the warehouse the Liu Mang had been using some time ago. It's here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Trash? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. Rather, it's things one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we might receive evidence of a president's adultery or illicit money transfer records. A scholar may call them pieces of history, but to others, they are cursed objects meant to be destroyed. As to our part, we secretly store these controversial trinkets for safekeeping. And should the client request it, we'll dispose of their trash without hesitation. It's our duty to make clients feel safe, that they might entrust their disposables to this island nation we call Japan. So, it's like a giant safety deposit box. Precisely. Each storage container is lined with lead, so even x-rays can't make out their contents. In addition, the interiors are also vacuum sealed to prevent degradation. Naturally, that demands a rather high premium, but we still find ourselves with new inventory almost every day. I swear, what'll you Yakuza think up next? Oh, this isn't just some Seryu clan racket. It's our front corporation. Right, so this is where you're sending those who want out? Yes. The Omi and Tojo's dissolution changed everything. Many Yakuza who are unable to reintegrate into society have since returned. Not everyone can weather those five long years. And thus, the Yakuza is all they have. Whatever their reasons, it's estimated they number over 10,000. There's still that many? Far as they're concerned, the best option is to side with smaller local groups like the Seryu clan. Provided at least one organization remains, they will no doubt continue to seek them out. For this reason, Chairman Takabe plans to coordinate with all remaining Yakuza clans and quickly dissolve them as well. What? You mean all at once? The Yomei Alliance of Hiroshima, the Kitikata family of Hokkaido, the Ryudo family of Okinawa. Those are just the start as he's secretly in touch with many other groups as well. He's aptly called this plan the Second Great Dissolution. Should it succeed, then the Yakuza will truly be a thing of the past. I have been acting on his behalf, carefully advancing the plan while he's away. Never knew Takabe had his sights set so high. In order to avoid the hardship caused by the first dissolution, the second will only be carried out once we've secured enough jobs. To that end, we've been expanding our business in numerous areas. Frankly, not all of them have been successful, but we can't afford to let that slow us down. We must give all we have to the task at hand. So the second great dissolution. When exactly are you guys planning to pull the trigger? when the time is right. That's all I can say for now. You've told us so much already, even though we just met. Seriously, it means a lot. Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, I'm well aware of all the work you two have done in rehabilitating former Yakuza. That said, I am also aware of your current predicament. Uh huh? Despite this, let me assure you that our goals are the same. Masumi Arakawa's last wish 
his incredible dream of giving every last Yakuza a chance at normal life. Would you entrust that to us? Kasuga-san, Adachi-san. Sasaki! Guess you really were here after all, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I came here with the intent of joining the Seiryu clan. Uh, but thankfully, Ebina-san said I could stay a civilian. You've got nothing to apologize for. If you're okay with this, then you have my support. We will take responsibility and look after Sasaki-san from here on. Is that all right with you? Honestly, it's amazing what you guys have done. Makes me wonder why I even bothered trying to do it on my own. Anyway, Abina-san, I ultimately just want to say thank you. This might sound kind of presumptuous of me, but... If I may, could I ask you see this through? That no man gets left behind? Yes, of course. I'll see that it's done. Kazuka-san. Hmm? Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. Yeah? I mean, sure. I've got nothing but time right now. Glad to hear it. In that case, allow me to give him a call. That won't be necessary. <laughs> well then, it would appear he's already here. Hmm? No way. It's been a while, Ichi. Holy shit. Captain Sawashiro. No, it's fine. Old habits die hard, huh? <laughs> Captain Sawashiro! I, I thought you were in the slammer! W what are you doing here? You were found guilty. You killed the Seiryu chairman. As far as Ebbing is concerned, you're public enemy number one, right? At a glance, I'd say he's treating you like the opposite. You know, for a dumbass, you're pretty perceptive, huh, Ichi? And I see you're at it with that. Would it kill you to be nice for once? <laughs> I guess old habits really do die hard. So they do. So, uh, what exactly is going on? Well, long story short, I wasn't the one who killed Chairman Hoshino four years ago. What? <laughs> hmm? late to the party, aren't you? <laughs> Seems even Hoshino got sick of waiting. Young master, what have you done? Yeah, I should be asking you. 
But the ruthless Captain Sawashiro I once knew never dragged his ass. But I have a theory. You let it slip that someone was after the old man's head. Didn't you? If all went according to plan, Ichiban would come save the day before you made the hit. That's what you were banking on, right? Well, change of plans. I see. So you sent a guy in ahead of me to ensure the job was done. I'll make sure the credit goes to you. If it gets around that you off the Sei Ryu clan chairman, well, you're sure to impress a cellmate or two. So then, that means I'd lost your trust some time ago, young master. You're wrong there, Sawashiro. You never had my trust to begin with. So someone else got to him before you even had the chance. Right. Then the young master played you as well. And even knowing that, you still took the fall. Well, I can't deny I was on my way to kill the chairman. Maybe I did pray for a sort of miracle. That by some chance I wouldn't have to. But it would have been too shameless of me to plead innocence. You had your reasons. I'm sure a lot was going through your head at the time, yeah? Uh, it's true. I suppose I was trying to atone for my sins somehow. <sighs> it was clear the young master. No. My own son was only sinking deeper into the abyss. I spoiled him. And Arakawa-san's death was a direct result of that. In truth, I might have prevented it, but instead I pushed him to do it. Once they put me in prison, I thought I'd just be counting down the rest of my days. But someone put that countdown on hold. That someone was Ebina. A man claiming to be his attorney came to visit. He told me he could prove me innocent, that he wanted to appeal for a retrial. So Ebina knew the truth? Did he know about Chairman Hoshino? That there was another killer? Yeah. He's a sharp one, that guy. Real young, full of energy type. He did everything he could to get me out of prison. It was all to serve his goal, to start up the Second Great Dissolution. You even heard it yourself just now. Arakawa still had a lot more to do before he passed. I get it. You couldn't be the one Yakuza left out of all this. <sighs> no way. I'm the guy that turned from the Tojo to the Omi, incited a war and went on an all-out rampage in the process. Get someone like me on your leash, and even a fresh face like Ebina's sure to turn a few heads. To keep the strays in line, you need someone who can bark over them. I suppose that's why he brought me in. Sounds like you got the short end of that one. I'd say it's the perfect job for me, <laughs> all things considered. If nothing else, it sure beats pretending to atone for my sins in some cell. Captain... I had asked Ebina to bring you here tonight, but... It wasn't so I could talk about myself. I know I have no right, Ichi, but I have a favor to ask you. A favor? From me? 
It's a rush job, too. Let me hear it first. I don't exactly want to bite off more than I can chew, you know? Well, as I understand it, you're fresh out of a job, right? I'm sure you'll find the time. <sighs> So, Sawashiro asks you a favor, and without any clue as to what it is, you run off and snag a passport. Sir, yes sir, eh? That's one way to put it. Well, whatever his favor is, I imagine you'll be heading overseas, right? Passport ain't good for much else. He's gonna fill me in later today. Said he'll be waiting at Heian Tower. Are you gonna be okay by yourself? I mean, can we really trust Sawashiro? You know, I think if he was gonna hurt me, he'd have done it by now. That's a fair point. Not only that, I'm out of work, with plenty of time to spare. Figured I'd just go meet him. I'd feel bad turning him down at this point, especially after he came to me for help. Guess we're all going to Heian Tower then. <laughs> You're not the only one with time on his hands after all. I think there'd come a day when we'd share a meal here. I'll say. Still, I assumed it'd just be us. Actually, they're here on Ebina's orders. <laughs> I made a lot of enemies before getting arrested. Plenty of people out there still hate my guts, it seems. Oh, I did what you asked. Got my passport right here. Ah. Uh. Excellent. So, uh, what's this favor you're asking? I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Hawaii? Uh, who is it? Well, it's your mother. What? She's the one woman the boss truly loved. Akane-san. Huh? W w wait that's... Just so we're clear here, yes, you are indeed the boss and Akane-san's child. That fateful day 40 years ago, I saw everything with my own eyes. On that day, two babies at the coin lockers were sadly mistaken for one another. been raised as Masato Arakawa, the boss's own flesh and blood. You were, of course, replaced with... <sighs> the son I abandoned. If you hate me for it, you're welcome to say so. You have every right. You know, I've always had two fathers. Jiro Kasuga at the Shangri-La Soapland, and by oath, Masumi Arakawa. For what it's worth, that's all I needed. Maybe you're right. That said, what about your mother? Right, uh, so, uh, this Akane-san lady is... Yes. She's your mom. No, but Akane-san, I, I heard she was killed. Heck, Arakawa-san told me himself. The Hikawa family hunted her down. You know, the guys Arakawa-san used to roam with. 
Right, well, that may be what the boss believed. But it's not entirely true. <sighs> Prior to the boss's departure, the patriarch of the Hikawa family hoped to marry Arakawa-san to his daughter. That's how much he liked him. You might even say the patriarch wanted him as his heir. But as fate would have it, the boss was already together with Akane-san, so he had to fearfully turn down the offer. Right. That was it. And the Patriarch's rage upon hearing the news was more than the boss could have ever imagined. In a sudden turn, he tried to kill both the boss and Akane-san, who at the time was pregnant with you. See, the boss had heard Akane-san was caught by the Hikawa family, but he never saw her body for himself. He kept believing she was out there, and so he strung up one Hikawa member after another. But by then, it was too late, and the order to kill Akane-san had already been passed on to the contractors. Contractors? Professional hitmen. So now they were on the hunt, too. The Hikawa Patriarch was playing all his cards. All that to kill Akane-san? Just her alone? Crossing the Yakuza carries a heavy toll. Surely I don't have to tell you that. Mm. It was then Arakawa made one last move. And in order to save your mom, he raided the Hikawa family HQ, all by himself. Arakawa! You're going straight to hell, you damn traitor! Concerned. You crossed the point of no return a long time ago. 
Did you forget? Where the fuck is the Kanang? No longer in the country. She's bound for the Philippines. Stowed away on some shady looking cargo ship, it seems. Imagine a pretty little thing by her lonesome, with hardly a yen to her name. Surely she has to earn her keep somehow. I hear life at sea is quite demanding, but it's the men that see you I'd be concerned about. <laughs> Bet you they're lined up as we speak. Shit! You piece of shit! <laughs> Tell your men to stand down! Or they'll be dead just like you! Hikawa! <laughs> That's the spirit, Arakawa. Oh, I've been wanting to see that face. To hear you scream like that little brat you are! Make the call! Do it already! <laughs> One really has to wonder, though. How bad is your bitch holding up? <laughs> <laughs> the boss continued torturing the Hikawa Patriarch until he breathed his last. But no matter what he did, the madman kept on laughing. Till the bitter end. And in the end, he never found out where Akane-san was. And now he had no chance of calling off her pursuers. But wait. He knew she was headed for the Philippines, right? There had to be something he could do. There was. He flew to the Philippines as soon as possible, and once he formed his own family, his subordinates joined the search. But nothing ever turned up. And the years just kept passing by. He came to believe that if Akane-san were alive, she would have contacted him. That day never came. So he and the rest of us assumed the worst. Though no one ever said it out loud. Here. It's the photo of Akane-san the boss had us carry around. What? I can't imagine you've seen it. This is her? Akane-san? Oh. She's native Hawaiian. Albeit with some Japanese blood mixed in. Then I have that blood too? Yes, that's how it goes. Ten years had passed since Akane's son went missing. Then, one day the boss got an emergency call. It was from an officer of a Filipino group we had dealings with. He found a girl in Hawaii who looked just like her. Then that mean... maybe she moved back home at some point? Yeah, we'd been looking at that angle too, as you might have guessed. But the boss never knew where exactly in Hawaii she was born. That might be why we still came up short. So you went there to take a look? To find Akane-san? Soon as I got word, I was on the first flight out. It was just me, though. The boss stayed behind. Why? What? Why didn't he go with me? If I can afford to be blunt, it's because he was afraid. He'd had enough. A man can only have his hopes built up so many times. The stronger and more promising the lead, the bigger the hurt when it all fell through. I see. It makes sense. Anyway, off I went. Eventually I found her. It was
was Akane's son, no doubt about it. And she was safe and sound? She was. <laughs> about as safe as you can get. Granted, uh, that presented a bit of a problem for me. Huh? Say all went well, and she returned to the boss. Akane-san would inevitably want to meet her child. And in that case, she'd quickly see that her son's been living with a handicap since the transfer at the coin locker. Now, she might at first say that just being able to reunite is enough. But eventually, she'd want to know about his condition. And she'd probably ask how that happened. Before long, she and the boss would be comparing their memories from that night. Then it had hit. They'd realize they transferred their baby at different lockers. How then would they treat Masato Arakawa, the young master, the boy they believed was theirs? Uh, well... No one truly knows what would have happened. But I did know this. As long as Akane-san kept out of Japan, everything here'd stay the same. Neither I nor the young master would have to suffer. Wait, then you... you flew out to Akane-san too? Exactly. When I saw Akane-san, I was planning to kill her. Even I couldn't help trembling. I had every intention to get rid of the woman the boss loved. However, I ended up walking away, all thanks to something she said. If anyone asks, I've been dead a long time. And Akane-san has kids out there? It shouldn't come as a surprise if you think about it. A young girl on the run from hired killers, with absolutely no hope of contact from the man she loved. Who could blame her for anything? From then on, it was her life to live. So I decided to honor her wishes. I gave word to the boss that Akane-san was dead. I told him the Hikawa family had reached her first, that all I'd found was her lifeless body, nothing more. The boss quietly accepted my report. The search for Akane-san was called off, and she was never spoken of again. After that, I stayed in contact with her, though sparsely. I needed some control over her so that she wouldn't suddenly get homesick for Japan, you see. You're a certified asshole. Still, I get that this all started because of what Akane-san said. I'm not saying everything you did was wrong. Well, with the boss now dead and me out of prison, the situation has changed. I wrote a letter to Akane-san. I told her everything there was to know. How I betrayed the boss, and that Ichiban Kasuga, the boy who grew up in a soap land, was her child. Ironic, isn't it? Neither I nor Akane-san were finally free until long after the boss was gone. <sighs> Anyhow, Ichi, Akane-san, she tells me she wants to meet you. She does? Me? Akane-san's home address. It's right there on the front. Is this a letter from Akane-san? It's just the envelope. The letter was to stay between me and her. I'm afraid I can't show it to you. 
Sure, I get that. Yeah, I'm sure it must be strange to be in your 40s and be asked to meet your mom for the first time. But Akane's son's only getting older. A son ought to set his mother's mind at ease before she passes on, don't you think? Well, yeah. This is just one more way for me to atone for all I've done. I'll be booking your flight to Hawaii. You'll leave tomorrow night. All that's left is how you feel about it. Will you go? Not for me, but for Akane-san. Please, won't you see her, Ichi? Captain... I beg you. You know, I never thought I'd see the day you bowed your head to me. All right, I'll go see her. Well, I would have killed you if you'd said no. What's up? Yeah. I see. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Listen. Got it. Thanks. Listen. Yeah. I'm taking off, boss. I'm gonna go meet her. Akane-san wants to see me. Arakawa, he had no clue Akane-san was still alive. Nor that you were actually his son. He never knew about any of it. You know, whether I'm the boss's blood or not, I can't actually say. Honestly, does it even really matter? Huh? To the boss, I'm just me. And to me, the boss is just the boss. His blood, my blood, it's not important. It doesn't change a thing. And that's why you won't take a DNA test? If it were me, I'd want to set the record straight. For all I care, I got two dads. I've got the boss right here, and I got Jiro Kasuga, the man who stepped in when no one else would. That's good enough for me. If you say so. Man, you always gotta be so stubborn. Say, by the way, what's that in your hand? Oh, um, I've got some of the boss's ashes in here. Huh. You get that made somewhere? I want to give it to Akane-san. Uh, you know, provided she'll accept it. So that was it, huh? That's what made you decide to go? Maybe. For what it's worth, I thought it might make the boss happy. So, what do you think, boss? What's up, Nancy? That's my pet crawfish, of course. Nancy. I sort of bargained for her life with a homeless fisherman. She's been with me since. Namba stuck her in a clay pot as a joke, but turns out she finds it pretty cozy. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to Hawaii, Nancy will need a sitter. Wonder who I could ask. Uh, Adachi san, maybe? Huh? That a no? Listen, if my stay in Hawaii goes long, you might dry out by the time I'm back. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. We're in this together. You want to come to Hawaii with me? Yeah, yeah. 
Be a good girl and keep cool, Nancy. this guy uh, just another crazy off the streets nothing out of the order huh. does it feel like we've had this conversation before <laughs> whatever we know how to handle this roger mm. no Total loser stick. you must stop cool get a lie break yourself get lost <laughs> Yeah. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? I'm up. You're in the dip. We need to be proud. Man, what was his problem? I swear, this city's just as ugly as it ever was. Oh, ho. Oh. A turn called titillator. Classic. You've not lost a step, Kasuga. How fortunate for us all. Uh -huh. It's been a while, my boy. You! Uh, who were you again? <sighs> it's me, you fool! Professor Morikasa, the bloody Sujiman sensei Oh, right! I was <laughs> just kidding. Of course I remember you, Sensei! Sujimon Sensei? This guy a friend of yours, Kasuga? Uh, you were with me when I met him, I think. He took us over to his, um, uh, Sujimon Center, right? Come on, man, it's hard enough to remember the names of cute curls these days. Much less scarred up cue balls. Uh, if you say so. Uh, listen then, this guy's the Sujimon Sensei. The creep who researches other creeps. Let me fill up a whole catalog of data on them. The Sujimon. <laughs> Guilty as charged. More monster than man all. And inclined to make passers-by feel super jittery. Sujimon! Uh-huh. Okay, yes. It's a stretch, but a necessary classification. For society to rid itself of these violent creepazoids, research and categorization are vital endeavors. You see, as ever, my ultimate goal is world peace. No shit. In this world, despite all my efforts, it's still rotten with criminals and degenerates. Just look around you for proof. And so I collect data on them their behaviors, their habitats, to help good, honest citizens stay clear of danger. That's why you needed Kasuga's help, since he's always getting his ass kicked in the seediest parts of town? Right! It's coming back to me now. Well, Kasuga, will you take up the Sujimon cause once more to be the very best? Huh? Uh, sure. You do still have the Sujidex installed on your phone, of course. Don't you? Hey, hold on! You... You deleted my Sujadex app! All that data... Gone! Hey, man, those things don't have much space! With no cloud backup! Ugh. Nothing to do but reinstall it. Ah, oh, what a pain in the ass. Enough whining. You want to keep the world safe, don't you? Wait, I forgot. 
I'm planning to go to Hawaii soon. Will this thing even work overseas? Huh? Well, it should, in theory. But why are you headed there, might I ask? I've got some stuff to take care of. My boy, Hawaii is known far and wide as a Sujimon paradise. Uh, really? Mmm. One could call it an entirely different region of Sujimon. A tropical dreamscape, yet a land of shadows, blessed by the sun and the moon. In fact, I've even heard tell of some sort of Sujimon tournament there. Uh, how would that even work? Perhaps. We'll speak more of that when the time comes. Away now, my boy. To Hawaii you go for priceless Sujimon data. Remember, gotta dispatch them all. Become the Sujimon master again. Whatever you say, Sensei. Going to Hawaii, huh? This might be my one chance to get it all back. Hey, Ichiban. You sure you got enough stuff with you? I mean, it's Hawaii. Not a day trip up to some hot spring. You're staying there at least a few nights, right? You bring enough change of clothes? Hey, if I run out, I'll buy some. I hate dragging luggage around. Look at us. First we're homeless, and now we're stressing about extra clothes. Hey, you're right. We really moved on up. This might just be the R&R &R you needed. Take the time to enjoy it. Oh, and I'm good with any gift. But back in any nuts. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well, guess I'm off. Travels. like a sunrise in Hawaii. <sighs> On behalf of all of our crew, thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We hope to see you again soon. If I take over? Yes, please. Thank you. No need to be so gentle with it. Just lift him by his belt here. Like a sumo in his loincloth. See? Thanks for lending a hand, sir. We appreciate the help. No. If anything, I was being too nosy. I wouldn't call helping a stranger out nosy. I take it you've done this before? Well, an old friend of mine spent most of his life in a wheelchair, so... Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it then. Anyway, you here on vacation? Uh, you could say that, yeah. Right on. Well, let's make the most of it, huh? Later. Thanks again. Oh, uh, hui ho! Uh, who what now? Uh, uh, uh hui ho. It's like saying, until next time. No. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, we ho!
Aloha. Aloha. Uh, this mean anything to you? Hmm? Uh, do I speak Japanese? Oh, you can read it! <laughs> you just come in from Japan? I got you. Now, uh, hop in. Hey, all right! Uh, where to? Here's the address. Look familiar? Hmm, uh, that's a good ways away. Oh, really? Is it gonna be a long drive? First time in Hawaii? <sighs> yeah. Cool. Welcome to the island. Uh, hope you have a nice time. So, you're from Japan, right? I'd love to get out there one of these days. <laughs> you say that to everyone who flies in from Japan? Like this is a sales pitch? Nah, that's just how I really feel. Japan's a wonderful country. It's super peaceful. It's a great food. Yeah, but what about Hawaii? This place is supposed to be heaven on earth, right? Well, the warm weather all year round is nice. But, uh... Yeah, Hawaii's got its problems, too. Ah, uh, go figure. And truth be told, we love Japanese guests out here. Uh, they make great customers, and we used to get a lot more before. Maybe you ought to bring your friends next time. Maybe. This time around's kind of personal. You know, you're a pretty upbeat guy, huh? <laughs> that an islander thing? <laughs> no, I, I get that a lot, that I'm easygoing. But I'm not all Hawaii. My dad was from Japan. Oh, really? Then, is your mom from here? Yep. Huh. Hey, I guess you're the same as me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Actually, I only found that out just recently. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, but mind if I see that envelope again? I, I want to check the address. Oh, sure. <sighs> we almost there? I could have sworn it was more toward the suburbs when I looked it up. Oh, is that right? Because somebody did their homework. Get out. See, this is why I love the Japanese. Butter them up just a little, and they'll trust almost anyone. Should I be putting my hands up? Eh, you can stay as is, as long as you're quiet. I'll want your wallet and your smartphone. And you know what happens if you say no, don't you? You're gonna shoot me? You? Really? You bet your ass. I ask because I don't think you can. Uh, uh huh? A lot of people say America's some gun-crazy cowboy country. But I doubt many of those cowboys know what it really means to pull the trigger. The, the, the hell's your point? Hey! You want to know if someone's gonna shoot you? Look at their eyes. A little practice, and you'll get the hang of it. Didn't think Japan would know how to strike back, huh? Maybe now you'll think twice. God damn it! Don't get smart with me, asshole! Leave the cat! No one the gets is on! Yeah! Open wide! Get lost! Now! Ah. 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 
cool. Feeling better. Yeah. Break yourself. You're out of here. Cool. Win to be proud. You know, if it just did your job, you'd have got a fat tip. But now all you get is a fat lip. Oh, and give me my envelope. Uh, envelope? The one with the address, man. Uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah. Now what? You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, you I'm turning in. Huh? Yo! That's a con I saw! What the hell is wrong with you? Spit it out! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, you taxi robbing dick. The fuck? Officer, help! I am being robbed! This hooter won my money and he pointed a gun right at me! Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're seriously buying this crap! Are you? All right, all right, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around! Okay, hang on! I, I'm doing it! Get on your knees! Right now! I can explain! I swear I just got into town! I haven't robbed anyone! Come on, uh, arrest that scumbag! I'm pissing myself over here! Damn it! Why me? This is bullshit! <laughs> Better luck next time, asshole. Hold on, officers! That man is no thief! Oh, hey! You're the Ahuijo guy! Who you should be arresting is the driver! He's the real thief, and if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Here. Hey, freeze! Hey, you saved my ass. Not even here a day and I almost land myself in jail. Sorry you had to go through all that. I was surprised myself. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was following you. Following me? <sighs> That's right. As we were leaving the airport, I noticed you had hopped into a suspicious-looking taxi. It looked suspicious? You could tell just by looking at it? The thing is, I was born here. As it stands, I've got a bit of a, a sixth sense for it. I can tell if a driver's out to scam tourists or not. And he was setting off the alarm, huh? It's not like I was 100% certain about him. But you were so nice to me on the plane, and I imagined what might happen to you. And frankly, I just couldn't leave it alone. Well, thanks, man. You really saved the day. Oh, I'm Kasuga, by the way. Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san? My name's Mitamura. Eiji Mitamura. Hey, that's a good name. So, Kasuga-san, where were you headed, if I may ask? I... Oh, shit! That's right! The address was on the envelope! The envelope? Was that what that driver ate all of a sudden? Yeah. Did you copy the address somewhere? No. I didn't think I'd lose something that important. I see. Actually, hold on a moment. I might have something. Huh? You know what? I might be able to work with this. What? Are you serious? 
I can see the envelope in the video I just took. It's too rough to read as is, but I can try tweaking the footage. And then we can read it? Yes, I think that should work. You'd really do that for me? Of course. In fact, I'd say this was meant to be. But I won't need my laptop to enhance the video, so... If it's no trouble... Can I ask you to come to where I'm staying? Oh, sure! I owe you big time, eh, John? Eh, John? You're agey, right? <laughs> so you're eh, John? Sorry, did, did I get a little too chummy? Oh, no. It's just been a while since anyone gave me a nickname. Anyway, should we get going? Actually, Kasuga-san, aren't you hungry? Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Could definitely grab a bite right now. In that case, why don't we do that? I haven't had anything either. All right! First big Hawaiian meal, let's do it! There's a place I used to go to pretty often. We can go there if you'd like. Uh, is there anything you'd rather not eat, Kasuga-san? Nah, I'm game for anything. People tell me I act like it's the best thing I've ever tasted, no matter what I'm eating, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. Tja! If you're picking the place, then I'm ready to chow down. Just maybe we keep it cheap, because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Oh, no worries. It's a casual little place. <laughs> We're in business, then. Oh, man. Going on a trip's great. You meet all kinds of new people. Shame about the first guy waving a gun in my face, though. Could have done without that. I hear you. Still, all in all, that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. Honestly, I wonder if he's all right. You don't think he got shot or anything, do you? But you're worried about him? A guy like that? Well, I mean, the guy didn't seem evil. Not entirely, at least. <sighs> you're one of a kind, Kazuga-san. Not everyone could admit something like that, especially about someone who tried to rob you. You don't think? <laughs> Maybe it's the island. The bigger the space, the bigger the heart, you know? Kasuga-san, what's the thing you think of when you hear Hawaiian food? Oh, uh, let's see. Loco Moco, I think? Oh, I know I've heard that one before. I mean, hamburger patties and sunny side up egg on rice? I'd wolf that down in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> it is tasty. And these days, it's not just with hamburger. You can get it with chicken or even mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi? Oh, it's a type of white fish. The big ones get up to about six feet or so. How, so is that like a Hawaiian specialty? If I caught a fish that big, I'd never shut up about it. <laughs> it makes for a good story. On that note, Kazuga-san, how long are you planning to stay in Hawaii? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I doubt I'll be here for too long. I'm not exactly here for sightseeing. Oh. Then what for? Work or something? No, it's not for work either. Oh, yeah? Well, we've come this far, I guess. My mom and I were separated at birth, and apparently she's still alive. She lives out here now. I came out here to see her. You were separated? Hard to believe, right? It hasn't really hit me yet either. Oh, it's any wonder. I can only imagine how difficult that must be. Wait, then, the address on that envelope you lost. Was that hers? Exactly. Would have thought some guy would eat the friggin' thing. You sure have been through a lot. <laughs> you know, 
One door closes, another opens. I mean, here I am now, having a great meal with my new pal. Pal? But you mean me? If it's okay with you, yeah. You've been a great friend so far. Asuka-san. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'd better get you that address then. I can't let my new pal down, after all. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Thanks. That's right. Yeah. I see. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Leave it to me. <laughs> sure.
Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry. Sup? No. Got it. I see.
What? My bad. I see. Excuse me. Sure thing. <laughs> 